The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Emperor had brought the Sky Ripper pieces up out of ancient burial by his obscene rituals. Could this be where the Iblis Stone was hidden? Someone better get it before he does, thought Renato. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Welcome back, you guys. My name is Game Boy, and today's game we're going to be playing is called Stories: The Path of Destinies. And I do apologize for the game just jumping in and starting like it did, and everything, and all that is just that. That's where we left off last episode, so that's where we're going to do. And I'm going to see exactly what to do first here, just because. Okay, let's go and yeah. So I'm going to go rescue Lapino. Find Ze Zebra, or Z Zebrith, or whatever her name is, and then accept her, his plan. No, not accept his plan. And then go and see where that goes from there. So, yeah, I'm gonna do it that way, just to have it that way. Ah, uh, Lapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time, but he was out of time. Lapino's frantic message said that the Ravens were going to kill him for being a rebel spy, and that he had a clever plan. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that, never mind the winged horse. Or so Lapino had told him over the far speaker anyway. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had, had everybody fled the ravens? Ooh, Renato loved to improve his gear. Okay, so I'm gonna go and try to find Lapino and everything and then just do I'm gonna do Lapino until I get to the princess I think and then gonna go and when I get to the princess I'm gonna go her route and everything so yeah I'm gonna go and not follow Lapino's plan and do it that way so yeah so I will get to Lapino because we've all seen what this is so I'm gonna just go to Lapino and let's just do it that way and everything so this area we all know and everything. If there's anything different, then I will show it, but we have all seen this area, so yeah. Okay, found an altar, so I'm gonna be going and leveling up my combat, just because it seems better to level up the combat than not leveling it up, so yeah. Leveling up the combat and doing it that way, so... Just because the combat is, if I level the combat up, then at least I can do better within the fights and everything, so, yeah. So, yep, the combat ability is actually helping a little bit, so, that's good. Ravens 
were landing everywhere. The advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Well, unless he really was a traitor, obviously. Then they'd probably pin a medal on his chest. And if they didn't want their things broken, they really ought to make them stronger. Then they're gonna pin a medal to him because he is a traitor, as we found out last episode. So that's not anything different and uncommon that we're gonna probably pin a medal on him because he is a traitor. A big old dirty traitor. Okay, let's go do this. And let, no, 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 no. You're not gonna kill me, so I'm gonna go and. Yeah, die, please. Do not really want to die myself, so. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Okay, good. So now I just go this way. Lapino would betray him. But now Renato knew that. What would Lapino do if he knew that Lapino was going to betray him? Well, he concocted some crazy scheme, wouldn't he? That used Lapino's betrayal against him and it would blow up in his face. Uh, yeah. Maybe he was overthinking this. That would be a first. Probably. He probably would try to overthink it and then make it a bad decision and everything, so yeah. Probably. I'm not very sure on the logistics of how Lapino would think, so yeah. At least now the story is actually telling me stuff and giving me hints and everything. So let's go save him and then let's do what he wants and then let's just see what happens. Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and, oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. So I'm gonna go and do it the same way, so let's just see what I need to do to capture- Yeah, I need to find Zenobia. And then, ex and then, yeah, find Zenobia. Zenobia wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in Swordfu school. And you're still mad for her. The rabbit reminded him. They'd been close. She'd told him things no one else knew. But she'd never told him who she really was. She knows all the Emperor's plans, chuckled the Master Spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators, all right, said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. The city was already under Zenobia's control. I had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. Yes, I am gonna turn her over just so then I at least can go and... yeah. So... I'm gonna go and turn her over so then we can... You know, ore is pretty heavy to carry. You know what's not? A new sword. Yeah, when I find a crafting table, I'm gonna make another sword so then I can go on and do what I want to because I'm 
able to build the sword that I want now. Go this way. Hey, thank you. I wanted to do that, so thank you for allowing me to. I don't know what's this way, so I'm just wanting to go this way just to make sure that I'm going the correct way. I get that the ore is heavy and... and I live. People who had built these poles had really, really long tentacles. I understand that going and carrying all this water slows me down from time to time, but who really needs to go and use the ore when I can save it up and... Hey, stop doing that. And, okay, you're just gonna die quick for me. Thank you. Come on, let's open this door and let's see what's behind it. Come on! Thank you. So, yeah, let's go build... Let's go build that sword now, so then now we can enter any of the doors. Sword from the mystical east could make time itself slow for you. Now let's go see... How... What? I have the fire sword, so what... What am I missing? So I have to select the correct sword? For the for the doors and everything, at least that makes sense. It looked like they'd forgotten to turn off their flamethrower. Heal myself so then I don't die. Okay, let's open this to see what I get, and I get a lot more of the stuff. Hey, I get another gem, so that's good. That's good. So, getting a gem is good. So, um, it... Okay. So, it does double damage. So, that's cool. Really cool. So, let's just get this over with. Get all the ore I need. And let's just go and activate this. Why was Lapino urging him to capture Zenobia? Obviously, it was a trap. But you never knew how Lupino thought. Sometimes his plans were so convoluted they did the exact opposite to what Lupino wanted. Yeah, there must be some way to play on that, Bernardo thought. Yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cap. I'm gonna go and s not capture her, but I'm gonna go and integrate her so then I get the true her and everything. Seriously? It was definitely easier to fight inanimate objects. Oh, where am I going? Oh! Yay! That's cool. Ah, I found another gem. That's handy and useful and everything. So... What's this plan of yours? Use me as bait, said Lupino. And he outlined a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the farfare a little bit on fire, Lupino dressing as an old blind toad, and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. What could possibly go wrong? Thought Renardo. I know I should go for Lapino's plan and everything, but I'm not going to go for it just because I want to see the outcome and try to see the, um, Zenobia, um, I want to try to see the true Zenobia and everything. Oh, go ahead. I'm sure you know better, said Lapino. Mm, no, I don't. I just know that you're going to go and Where betray me. when you needed one? Oh, never mind. I just know that, um, he's gonna betray me, so that's the only reason why I'm gonna go and try to do Zenobia and everything, just because I know he's gonna betray me. And everything. And betraying me is not exactly what I want. Okay, die, please. I really do not want you to get stronger. Seriously? Why did I have to die? Come on, why did I die? 
So open this, get some more ore. Ah, cool. I'm just getting a lot of stuff. So I need to read this. So if you want to read this, go pause it. I'm not going to go and keep it in the video. I'm just going to read it myself. And if you want to read it, then read it right now. Just pause the video and everything. So yeah. Wow, that was dark. Um, why? Why the heck did he do that in the first place? I get that. Don't sacrifice your daughter for the greater good. Oh my god, dude. Do not do that. Oh my god. You are sac gonna sacrifice your daughter for the greater good, aren't you? Oh my god. That is not good. Okay, so I need more resistance. So, yeah. Oh my god, that that is horrible. Oh my god, I would never do that if I had a daughter. Like, if I had a daughter, I would never sacrifice her. Even if I adopted, I would never sacrifice. This was way better than being able to shrink down to the size of an ant. What was that all about anyway? Yeah, I'm not gonna ever sacrifice my daughter if, I, if it meant the greater good. I would... I would sacrifice myself before I would sacrifice my own daughter, even if adopted. Oh my god, that toad is a slimy little wannabe. Oh my god, there are a lot of things I want to say, but I'm not going to say because it's a PG. I'm trying to keep this clean. Oh my god, he's a menace. If you read it, then you would understand why I'm saying all of this, but if you didn't, then yeah. Renato slinked through Zenobia's ship, making no sound at all. Where were her guards? Finally, he reached her bedroom. She was curled up at her bed. Oh, he'd forgotten how beautiful she was. How sleek. How soft. He tapped her on the shoulder with his sword. She became smoke. And he noticed he had a blade to his throat. Stay a while. Heard a familiar voice. Did you really think you could capture me? Zenobia said as her ship lifted off. Now I just wanted some privacy, Renato said. Did you ever wonder why the Emperor adopted you? And he told her why. His Imperial Majesty wanted to bring the lost gods back. They could make him immortal. But to seal the bargain, he needed a sacrifice. Someone who truly loved him. You're lying. She was furious. You can't prove that! I can. And so, they set sail for the Nexus. Scientists at the observatory have resurrected one of his victims. Well, he's not exactly alive, but it can talk and it can't lie. You took a big risk. You know, I could just cast a spell to make you tell me where the rebel base is. And you wouldn't consider that cheating? She frowned. Ugh, fine. Let's go get your witness. The rebellion had started after atrocities that the Empire hushed up. Renato had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred for one book. He had slept in a burnt village. Dead kittens and puppies had come to tell him what the Emperor had done to them.
Have you ever felt you were just going around in circles? Renato felt like that. Uh, why was the frame rate acting up? I have no idea, but yeah. I really hope they find the truth because that is horrible. What? Why? I, that is just horrible. What he did. It's just horrible. Oh my god. I would never do that. I would never just adopt someone just for a sacrifice. No. That is just. Oh my god. I can't believe that that happened. Oh my god. I can't believe I read something that malicious and everything. That was horrible. Very, very horrible. I just hope that she finds the truth and everything and does and believes me and everything because if she doesn't then she, it's her own life that she is putting at risk right now if she doesn't believe me so i hope she does believe me and everything so then she can believe the truth die please i really do not want to deal with you right now i want to save zenobia Okay, come on! Come on, come on, I know I can get to you. It's just, trying to do all of this is not exactly easy. Come on, do it, do this, and that, and that, and... Okay, this is just very, very easy. Just saying. just getting warmed up, he thought. Okay, that's just... Okay, so, yeah, I hope that Zenobia is saved and understands the truth. Same thing here, if you want to pause it and read it, then do it. I will be skipping to certain points so then you can read it all, so, yeah. That emperor is one shady little toad. I would say otherwise, but I'm not gonna say what I want to say. He's just one slimy little he toad. There were more pylons he could use the hook on. They really needed to construct additional pylons. That toad is one slimy little. Oh my god! I, no, I would never become that toad. I hope I never become the toad. I hope never, ever, ever again. I become that toad. That toad is... No, I hope I never become the toad is what I'm saying. Because that toad is one slimy little... Oh my god. This, this, this game is becoming darker when going down her path. Oh my god. Why... Why... Why this dark? I have no idea, but it's really, really dark. Oh my god. It's darker than I ever th imagined. Okay, I'm not gonna fall for any of this, so I'm just gonna kill you right now, and here, and right now. Okay, thank you. Okay, still some more, so, okay. Please, just die. I really don't really freaking care. It's just the same old enemies over and over and over, so... The combat does get repetitive from time to time, but it's better than it n getting stale and everything it just gets repetitive and everything not it still becomes different and everything just becomes stale after a while okay please don't kill me and death i hope i'm able to speak with her and catch her up on stuff because Ooh, sparkly thought renardo she caught up with him don't you think I know if my father started practicing black magic? Why? Would you want to join in? Oh, no, no, I'd destroy his books and... Uh, all right, I suppose I wouldn't. She stopped, troubled. He ran on. 
Yeah, you you gotta listen to me. You are not someone that I want dead. Because of finding out what I found out last time, you she's a good person. She does is on the wrong path and everything. They like each other because of what I found out last episode and everything. So what is happening this episode, oh my god, is not what I like. The scientists on this island had been investigating the Emperor's dark rituals on their own. They were neutral in the civil war engulfing the Empire, but they could see that the dark magics the old toad had loosed were changing the world. Renata hoped he and Zenobia weren't putting them in danger. I have no idea what's happening right here. I'm just guessing because... I'm just guessing right here because I have zero idea. Okay, that's a wall. Oh, they really ought to put a railing on this thing, we thought. Ah! Put up that shield. Okay. Come on, I know what I'm doing. This fight is just very tedious. Touche, he said, and died. I will do this fight, and I'm not gonna... I know how to do this fight, so... Oh my god. Okay, finally defeated what I needed to... Ah, I should have not done that. I should have not done that. I wanted I wanted to at least wait a little bit. So, certain story points are behind certain doors. Okay, so at least I'm getting a hang of this game and I know what I'm doing. So, certain paths of destiny are only behind certain doors and everything. So, that makes sense of at least. So, yeah. So, I hope I find out what I need to and everything is okay because mother wasn't watching. The observatory was a burning hulk. Dead scientists and black feathers everywhere. The ravens had taken care to burn the reanimated witness to cinders. Zenobia stared around, shocked. The scientists had been neutral. They had no part in the rebellion. Take me to your council, she said, shaken. I have things to tell them. It was what Renardo had gambled on. The Zenobia would turn against her father once she knew his madness. But the rebel base was secret. Could he really risk taking the Emperor's daughter there? <clears throat> so I can go to here and everything. So let's let's see. Oh, I can go here. Let me read them to see what's happening. You can pause the video like normal and everything. So yeah. I'm going to take her to the secret base just because I want to at least get her somewhere. So the secret base and if not then I'll do the steps to what I needed to do and then just go to this area and everything so if it doesn't work out then I'm going if this doesn't work out then I'm going to go here next episode but I'm going to try doing this so yeah the Pino by far speaker toad the one creature the ravens had left alive at the observatory Lapino seemed awfully anxious to meet him at the secret base if he was a spy for the empire he turned around and revealed the coordinates to the Empire, jeopardizing the entire rebellion. But Renato couldn't bear to think that Lupino would commit such horrible treachery. There was still good in the Mad Rabbit. He felt sure of it. I'll meet up with you at the base, Lupino said through the toad. Good thinking. Renato gave him the coordinates. There's a shuttle here I can uh, borrow. Renato found Zenobia in the chart room. I've been having awful dreams, she said. Dead kittens and oh, worse. I thought there were only dreams, you know. Why would anyone want the lost gods back? In those days, the favorite of a god could become immortal. She held herself and shivered. He wants to become an eater of souls. Well, I'm not afraid of dying. Just tying a boredom. <laughs> Renato said, but she didn't laugh. Silence fell as they flew towards the ruins of the city of Ubar, where the rebellion leadership was hiding. If Zenobia couldn't help them fight off her father, no one could.
As they touched the ground, he could smell the ravens and hear their hungry calls in the distance. They're probably looking for me, she said. You go on ahead. She had that fiery look in her eyes that he'd always loved. It was a bit odd, though, how easy she'd been to convince. It was what he'd gambled on, but he'd expected more of an argument. She'd always loved to argue. She considered it the fastest way to the truth. Maybe she'd long suspected the truth. Sometimes all it took was taking the bandages from your eyes. That must be it, he told himself. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the episode here and everything. I've done a lot and all that. I will next episode if everything doesn't go the way that I think it's gonna go. Then I'm just gonna go and do everything like I did this episode. And then just do it like um, everything like I did and everything. So then I can switch to the one I was about to choose but chose the other one instead. So I am very invested in what's happening to Zenobia and everything. So I really hope she doesn't die. I hope everything's okay. And I hope that I can finally, finally actually find the truth about her and everything. So yeah, but anyway, I'm just going to go. So... If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give me a boy, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all guys in the next. Woo!